previously on Resident Evil Revelations. We lost contact with Chris and Jessica. The signal was lost over the ocean. Queen Zenobia. Right here on this ship. No signs of life. But I feel like something's here. I think it's a gun. This is not good. It's a double mystery. You, you, double mystery. Maybe it's the weather, but I still can't make contact with HQ. Who'd have thought we'd be stuck out here for so long? So Chris has a new weapon. Somehow he gets the shotgun, but not Jill. Well, Jill isn't the master of shotgunning. Nah, she's the master of sticking hand in orifices. Also, this is weird. Chris and uh, Jessica have the uh, Genesis gun. Oh, the plane! My God, it crashed. There shouldn't be any shipping routes in this area. And the intel we got on Veltro was on the money. Come on. All uh, all terrorists in uh, Europe are super villains, like in Joe. Yes, and they all have a dude that's in a cow that blows up. So, I noticed this like the first time I saw this, but why does Chris have a sewing kit? Well, Chris has got a sensitive side. Really? No, I mean, you can- Tactical sewing! For when I rip my shirts! Like, you can't tell when he's punching a boulder. He will, we will never live that down. <laughs> Yeah, I know about, like, how infamous that is, and I haven't even played that game. Mm-hmm. Apparently RE6 took it to another level, but that's Resident Evil 6. God, those fire textures look so bad. Well, it's, it's the 3DS. What the hell were they carrying? Yeah, but it looks like some of them are animated at, like, so low frames. Uh, Yay, I love to read. I do too. Because handling zombies requires extreme caution. I'm surprised Chris actually can read. These are all moon runes to me. Jessica, what is this? <laughs> I actually don't think I read any of this stuff in the game. Like, I just didn't uh, You gotta have the RE plot. Also, you gotta be sure to do tranquilize I? zombies every hour. Uh-oh. What is it? Yeah. Is that like Zombrex? Yeah, you gotta tranquilize the zombie zombie every hour on the hour or else this happens. This is future planning for evil corporations. Capcom is training the future. How many evil corporations does Resident Evil Land have anyway? Man, this place looks like shit. So I forget, is there a plot reason why there are no corpses in the plane, or is it just the, the 3DS can't handle having that many objects? I'm not sure. Like, there should be corpses somewhere, but I think 
all the zombies just kind of fucked right off. Oh wait. A convenient excuse. Oh, There's the corpse. There's just one dude. <laughs> hey look, more reading. The manifest should give us a lead to work with. Let's see. They were headed for Belcoin and Mock Airport. If that's where they are, this mine should take us there. Also, sneaky secret here. What? Uh, uh, there it is. Ah, uh, see, so you couldn't. You think you couldn't find it because it's inaccessible. Yeah, you think. Very sneaky. I find it weird that these crates are just tactically placed while everything else is a fucking disaster. Well, you know, you gotta be careful with your crates because they break at like. They just combust at the smallest touch from a knife. Jessica, I need a hand. Do you really need assistance, Chris? I mean, look at those guns. I, I liked these uh, co-op little things like this. That never actually mattered. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, they're just cute and funny, aren't they? This cave is too cold. You should have worn your thermal underwear. Jessica really doesn't like clothes. I mean, who wears a mini skirt? In the in winter, I just like Chris's uh, stupid jokes. Chris doesn't care much about anyone, not Jill. So this takes place like shortly before the uh, the Queen Zenobia stuff. Yeah, this is what mot This is what should motivate Chris and Jill or Chris and Parker, Jill and Parker. Ah. Jill and Parker. Ah. This is what motivates them to go to the Queen Zenobia. Looks that way, doesn't it? Then Veltro is back from the dead. Yeah. And we have to stop them before anyone gets hurt. Also, is it me or does Chris have more camera clearance than Jill? Because we see a lot more Chris than Jill. Yeah, I, I guess you've got to, like, keep Chris's entire body in frame. Yeah. Either that his body's just so huge that it takes up the frame. Gotta be really quick on scanning the dogs, because they don't leave a body behind. I actually didn't even know you could scan them. <laughs> there you go. Professional Resident Evil player. I don't know. Like... It's really so weird to watch and see me how I'm so overly compulsive with scanning. Ugh. At least you weren't me when I'm playing the 3DS version, because it's controlled by the gyroscope, so you just like, Aww. fling your face around like an idiot. That's awful. <laughs> Who thought that was a good idea? Well, you gotta use the gimmicks. If you don't, then, you know, you fuck. Then you don't have a good video game if you don't have gimmicks. Oh, sarcasm. Also, if you could barely tell, there are black dogs among these guys, and they suck hard. They are beefy, mm -hmm. and they I believe they constantly summon wolves if you don't take them out. I believe we'll actually see that coming up soon. Yeah, yeah. Also, here's the B.O.W. decoy. I think I used these a fair bit. Yeah, you're kind of obligated to use them in this area, I believe, but they're... It'd be a fun grenade if they weren't so piss-weak. Well, it's, it's supposed to, you know, distract them rather than, you know... Yeah, maybe. Also, I realize at this point that I only have one B.O.W. grenade. Come on. I think what happened is that I had full handgun ammo and the game wouldn't let me take it. <laughs> Man, shotguns are just so satisfying in this game. They sound good and then they throw everyone around. It's great. I really like all the weapons in this game, actually. Yeah, there's I think a they're all like very, uh, they have a nice feel to them. 
They have a good variety. I like them. The big dog doesn't give much scan material. That's disappointing. Unless you scan them while they're alive. But that and then is, chewing your you know, face off. Yeah, that takes a lot of bravery. Chris, what are you doing? Just sit tight. I gotta scan this for 30%. There's a lot of stuff here. It's like they were preparing to fight off zombies when their zombie plane crashed. Go figure. <laughs> How convenient. It's like building a corporation based around zombies is a bad idea. So, Jill, was it? Was what? Stay focused. She was your partner before, right? Yeah, my partner from before. What about it? I was, you know, just asking. Chris is very, very thick. <laughs> uh, I just like, like you could tell she's so jealous, and Chris is like, "Yeah, whatever, mission, let's go." Hmm. Yeah, that jump seems like something you would. Be, that jump seemed like something that would be good for hiding stuff there, but I guess not. Yeah. Capcom doesn't have that force. They don't really anymore. need to hide anything because they just littered shit all over the place. Anyway. That's true. Like this. That's not treacherous at all. Reminds me of a. Uh, I guess because it is the obligatory ice level, it reminds me of a uh, Findara Drifts from Metroid Prime. Never played Metroid Prime. Uh-oh. This part killed me so many fucking times. Well, all you need to do is throw a grenade at yourself and you'll be fine. I mean, it worked for Why me. Why didn't I think of that? Also, the zombies are pretty piss weak in this version. Like, one or two handgun bullets take them out easy. Yeah, that's weird. Also, I think this is the only time that you're ever, like, stationary like this. Yeah. I well, thought it was weird that they introduced, like, a, you know... Your hurt mechanic and then never use it. I think it's they did that to make Chris seem more vulnerable and not complete badass. Like, oh, this guy could be injured too. Let's give him a sprained ankle for a time limit. Oh yeah, he's over there. Hello. Goodbye. I really don't like this part sometimes just because it just seems like it's real there's really no way to avoid damage. Yeah, like it's really, really, really difficult. Also, Jessica, I don't think anyone cares about your sweet ass. Jill's is better. Like, what kind of special agent says that? Uh I don't know. I think Chris is just completely insane. I, like, maybe they don't even, like, hire Chris. Maybe he's just, like, you know... He's just kind of there, the janitor. Also, yeah, just see all those and, dogs. like, he thinks he's going on missions. Or he's, like, the, uh, the leader of the BSA's, like, mentally handicapped cousin, and they give him a job <laughs> just because they feel bad for him. That's terrible. But it would explain a lot. Also, did you know that you can melee in this mode? I'll be okay. Sorry to bring this up again, but... Bring what up? Do you trust me as much as Jill? There's no need to compare. I trust you both. Besides, trust is built through actions, not words. That's so like you, Chris. It's always about the job, isn't it? This game really loves its callbacks now that I'm looking at this again. Either that or every woman in Resident Evil is just incredibly shallow and needs Chris's approval for everything. I think Jessica just has trust issues. Like, out of all the new characters, I think I don't like her at all. While everybody else has some, like, semblance of enjoyment. Even... Yeah. 
Even I that like old some of her lines, but she's she's not that great. I prefer uh, I prefer David Bowie and David Bowie and Parker. Yeah, David Bowie is probably one of the better characters. See, when I see all this co-op stuff, I have to wonder, like, was this originally intended to be a co-op game? I think it was meant to have co-op for everything, but they couldn't include it in the uh, in the span of the 3DS cards, so they just kind of regaled it to raid mode. That's their hideout. This is Forkball. Do you read? Chris here. I read you, sir. Are you all right? Where are you? The interference here killed our signals. We're at Valcoin and Mock Airport. Damn it. It's all a setup. What do you mean? I sent Jill and Parker to the Mediterranean on faulty intel, and now I've lost contact with them. I haven't heard from them since. How? What's going on? Chris, you better look at this. It's impossible. O'Brien, you're not gonna like this. We found the Veltro Crest. Then stories of their resurrection are true. If that's the case, then... Then the setup that got Jill and Parker, it was all... Yeah, I'd almost guarantee it. O'Brien, we'll go after Jill and Parker. I hope that's not a problem. Not at all. Make your way to the Mediterranean and we'll keep you posted. Any idea what's going on? We'll sort it out later. Wait a minute. I thought Jill and Parker were looking for Chris. And what's her face? This is mysterious. <laughs> 